Hello Health Anistas and welcome to my channel 50 something. This channel is for the overall well-being of people 50 and older. But don't worry, if you're in your teens, 20s, 30s and 40s, you can still apply a lot of the content. Today, I'm collaborating again with my daughter. Her channel is That's Tiff. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Y'all already know what's good. Ah, it's always literally lit. Okay, so today I am back with my mom once again. Her name is 50 something original. Check out her Instagram. I mean, check out her YouTube channel and subscribe. But you can also check out her Instagram if you really want to. But I digress. What are we doing today, mother? Well, okay, so I want you guys to see how you would have taken this. <clears throat> I had an Instagram follower DM me and it said I had to approve the person. So I approved the person so I could read their message. And the person was asking me, oh, since you know, you're inspiring others, how else do you spend your time? So I read that as, even though it was a female, how else do you spend your time? I'm like, huh, they're hitting on me. Come so on I'm now. like, how can I reply in a diplomatic way you know so it doesn't seem like I come across as harsh because sometimes words can come across as harsh in messages so I told the person well, I'm trying to grow my two channels and um, I'm happily been happily married for 28 years so then she came back with oh like three O's and an H and I don't know what that meant like oh that's good or oh like hold it that's not what i meant okay but she met she said that she's also going to be married for 28 years and so then i realized oh she wasn't hitting on me so i asked her opinion she read me the dm she was like somebody tried to hit on me so i was like ooh. Who did? Because I'm trying to get the tea, right? So I'm listening to it. She's reading it to me. She's like, oh, this person said this, this, and that. And they asked me, you know, since I'm inspirational, what do I like to do? How do I spend my time? How do I spend my time? If so. Yeah. If, but, but, but think, it could be a guy and have a woman's picture there and say, hey. How do you spend your time? But how? You know I what know. I'm saying? Wait, no. But, but how is that? How is that trying to hit on somebody? Who it's goes, how it said. Like if, it, like I said, if it was a guy, it's like, how do you spend your time? So let me ask you a question. Like, let me ask you a question. Can I holler at you? Type of thing. What's up, Bob? <laughs> how do you spend your time? Mm -hmm. See? No, See? no, that doesn't even go together. That doesn't even sound right. How do you spend your time? It could be. It could be. It could be a line from somebody that's, that's my age. We would totally say that. All right. That's what y'all say. Somebody could say that. How do you spend your time? Yes. All right. Yes. Leave in the comments if you don't, if you believe that somebody that's my age, in my age group, would say that to another person. You know? So, I, obviously, I took it the wrong way. So, I responded and told her the two channels that I have. And I didn't hear back. So I don't know if I offended her, but if I did and you're watching this, I'm so sorry. I didn't know you were really, really a, a woman. I just thought maybe you were a dude that had a woman's picture on there and... This is why parents really should not be on social media because y'all read random things. Somebody, uh, somebody could say, hi, how are you? And you're like, oh my gosh, I've been married for 28 years. <laughs> like, oh no, goodness. no. But people really do stuff like that because... I signed up for an inst uh, no, I signed up for a Facebook page and I didn't even realize I had it on where anybody could be your friend. And I was doing this specifically to get the personal one so that I could have my business ones and I could be part of different Facebook groups to grow my channels. So I'm thinking I really don't need friends, but I, I was like, oh maybe if I get a couple. So I said yes to one friend request. Pretty soon they kept pouring in and then they're 
a whole bunch of guys all over the world talking about hey baby and um wait mother you had side do no i'm just saying it was by mistake i just didn't realize <laughs> that i had i don't know no side dudes i didn't realize that i had it on public where anybody could join me right mm -hmm. and so this so and so is waving at you do you want to wave at him no i don't want to wave at you and what the heck does that mean do i go like this over the messenger or what but <laughs> <laughs> this is why parents do not have social media <laughs> my goodness okay so so how'd you get rid of these side dudes are they still in your phone no what i did was i unfriended every single one of the 175 people 175 i unfriended all of them and now i have zero and peace and quiet and then if i want to post something on public in my personal profile which i'm not doing any personal things i'm mostly it's the channels then i'll post it but mostly i'll send i'll post it on there and then i'll do it on my business pages and then these facebook groups because no I had young men going, you look good. No, no. What? It wasn't my she fault. She had young side dudes, old side dudes, middle age. She was doing that type of stuff. No, I wasn't doing anything. <laughs> Did I tell you? It's because I didn't realize that it's like anybody could request to be a friend. I'm not like that. I'm not. No, I'm not like that. So, no. I had to unfriend all of the 175, their little behinds. I did, yes. I'm happily married. I don't need dudes from different countries looking at me, talking about, you look good. Hey, you know, do you do you have a boyfriend? Do you, no, I don't need that. Mm -mm. Nope. This is the second reason why parents should not have social media. We need social media. What are you talking about? Y'all. We need it, but we need a learning curve like today I actually sat there and watched how to really post stories on Instagram because if I ask you you'll roll your eyes at me and no, because this is what she does baby uh-uh baby I can't. I'm not even 70 80 90 I can't Oh really? I'm like turn your really, brightness, turn your baby, brightness up. I can't turn your brightness up with the with the old lady voice too. <laughs> yes. really? And then she turns it up. Woo! Where's the button? The button is literally right there in her face. So that's what I'm saying. Like I don't know what's going on, but <laughs> something ain't right. Something ain't right. I feel like the phone look better. It's okay. Come this way. <laughs> Give me a hug. No. No. <laughs> I don't know why it's so hard for you guys to understand social media and technology. We did not grow up with this. We had landlines. We had pay phones. We didn't. Yes, when we were growing up, cell phones had come on the scene some, but only an elite group of people had cell phones. Actually, even before cell phones, doctors were the only ones that had pagers. And when you were in a restaurant and the pager went off, you knew it was a doctor. Because then they had to go use the restaurant's phone to call in because they were coming to the hospital. And then pretty soon pagers were available to everybody. Cell phones were available, but they were bricks. And people would have these big bags beside them with these cell phones. Then cell phones also went to be a little bit smaller. They were still bricks. So, no, we didn't grow up with it. Today, a little baby has a cell phone. Even Mindy, our cat, she can play on a cell phone. We didn't grow up with it. So it takes some learning. And I think I've done pretty good. I think sometimes millennials and the younger generation are very impatient with us. You don't know how to take a selfie. You're not, you're not supposed to have your hand here. It's supposed to be here. If you're taking a selfie and you know somebody has a double chin like me, you don't go down here. You go up here so the double chin is gone. You take a photo and plus the lighting's up there, not down here. So I'm confused as to why you guys go like this. Oh, let's take a selfie. And y'all don't even smile, you go like this. Like I said, it takes a learning curve. Learning. We, just like texting. I can't do this. I have to, like, sometimes I'll use my thumb to go with it. But I can't do the, 
that fast. It's I just didn't grow up that way. But at least I'm using it. At least I'm texting. At least I'm able to, you know, communicate with people. So, be kind to your parents. Anyway, like I tell my health anistas, take good care of your body. Remember, doing something is better than nothing. Go ahead and subscribe, comment, and like, and hit the bell so you won't miss anything. Hey y'all, welcome. Oh, wait, <laughs> we gotta, gotta shift together. Hmm? So when I go like this, we gotta, we gotta go like this. We gotta shift at the same time, like we're falling. Oh, okay. So, can you come a little to the side? Three, two. Hey y'all. Huh? <laughs> shift with me. Oh, this way <laughs> together? Okay. <laughs> hey y'all. <laughs> Murray! Oh, you know, but I'll do myself. <laughs> It's a simple, I, I don't hit you, you go with me. Like, okay, I'll try it. All right.